Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the new Rare Beauty lip oils and the two new shades that she came out with in the blushes. I went to Sephora, picked all of them up. I have four colors. Yeah, four colors of the lip oils right here. They are called Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil and two of the colors of the blush one is called virtue and the other one's worth so we're gonna put these on i have worn the the one of the lip oils half a day i have it swatched right here um so i have some thoughts on them so if you're interested continue watching if you're new here welcome my name is tanya i'd love for you to subscribe down below and let's get started let's start with the blush the blushes run for 23 dollars. you get 7.5 ml let's double check on the box yes 7.5 ml and i really like these i have some other colors from her but i've been craving for some more muted or more browny undertones rather than just bright colors so i'm excited to try these out you guys know these are so pigmented and I was excited to see some more nude colors. I'm curious to see what finish these are. Are they the matte or the glowy finish? I'm gonna swatch them real quick so we shall see. Ooh, these colors look stunning. I'm gonna spread them out because that's how we're gonna wear them. I think it's glowy, radiant. I think so. It's kind of hard to tell, but it seems like you see that, that it has a radiance. I could be wrong. I couldn't find info online about that though. So here we have worth and then virtue. This is definitely more rosy and more brown, but I do like the colors. I think I think they were needed in this collection. When it comes to rare beauty blushes, the way I apply things, is I work off of the hand. Some people apply it straight on their cheek, that works too, but to me, these are quite pigmented in general, so I wanna have control over how much I put on. So I'm gonna take a brush and put this on. The one I'm using right now is a Virtue. Ooh, yes, I love this color. It a little bit in my crease and up here absolutely stunning I was waiting like I mentioned before to get some more from Rare Beauty but the colors just weren't for me and the fact that she came out with these it's like perfect I hope they're not limited edition they better not be I think these are the perfect colors Ooh. It does have a radiance. So beautiful. This one was pigmented, but not scary pigmented. I think some of the other colors... Sorry, I'm trying to put it on my um, crease without ruining my lashes. Um, I think some of the other ones were so intense that putting just a little bit too much, it was just overwhelming. But actually, I think this one worked really, really well. I would even feel comfortable putting this one straight on and blend it out. You can also use a beauty blender to apply this. Uh, I think any of that works. I even used um, um, was a stippling brush sometimes with this, this liquid formula. It works really well. Ooh, I love this color. This is Virtue. Moving on to Worth on the other cheek. I'm just gonna add a little bit here and see the beauty blender let's see how it works with the beauty beauty blender add a little bit here and press it in pretty color a little bit brighter right maybe not building this up a little bit start slower with these and build up That color is really beautiful. It's they're beautiful nude colors. One's just a little bit more rosy. One's more brown undertone. Ooh, I like the brown one more. I think. I think it's just a little bit. Um, I think they're beautiful, but I've 
seen this color a lot more than the color virtue. I'm gonna take just a little bit more of Worth, add it on the back of my hand. Well, on the palm of my hand, I guess. Um, I don't wanna put it here because I wanted to show you the oils, how they last. Because I've had these since this morning. Oh, I'm getting blushy. Put it over my nose as well. Here we have Worthy and then Virtue. I think they're both absolutely gorgeous. They blended in really easily. They're pigmented, but because of the undertone and they're almost a little bit muted, not, they're not quite as bright. I think they, they're just easier to work with and I would feel comfortable applying it straight to my cheeks, but so beautiful. I'm so glad, I'm so glad uh, she came out with these colors. I think I'm just gonna mix real quick, make them match, um, and then we're gonna move on to the lip products. I'm so excited about them. Cheeks are even enough. Moving on to the lip oils. Okay, so this is a soft pinch tinted lip oil. It goes for $20. And guys, it gives you three ml. It says here, 3.0 ml, the same on the box. So it's 0 0.10 fluid ounces. On the Makeup by Mario one, it is 3.3 ml, 0 0.11 ounces. So these are pretty much the same amount that you get in these little bad boys compared to the Rare Beauty one. I triple checked because I was like, is this a thing that we get so little product in the lip products? Yeah, so little amount of product in our lip products. And in my last video, I did compare it to the Fenty Beauty one. You get a whole lot here. You got nine ml. Um, so these, you don't get a ton of product. And if you like them, you will probably have to repurchase. I think, you know, the packaging of this just takes a lot of space. And this one's a little fatter. It comes in eight different shades. It is a lip balm and treatment. It says the benefits are long wearing and we'll talk about it a little bit after. An innovative gel to oil lip tint that hydrates and nourishes with a soft pinch of dewy color that stay comfortable, never sticky all day. So I like that the outside packaging of the box is the color that you're choosing. It's just easy to choose in store. And then the packaging, this is how it looks like. It's pretty much like the blush, the same top and everything. Um, just obviously longer and skinnier. It has a doe foot applicator right there. It's nice if it's, you know, nice around the lips. And yeah, I like the packaging. Now let's take a look at the colors that I picked up. Here are some terrible swatches, excuse them. I did it with my left hand. So starting down here, here we have hope, joy, honesty, and delight. So these are the colors that I picked. I think they're really pretty. So like I mentioned before, I swatched the, these this morning in store and um, you can see that they are there. I've washed my hands many times and they're still there. On the lips, it still stayed. So I had to kind of like wipe my lips and put some um, foundation on top of it. Look. That way I can swatch these for you. So these definitely tint your lips. And I mean, I've only tried one throughout the day, but what I've noticed is that when you apply it, it looks nice. And then once you wipe it or the gloss goes away, it's almost like it gets a little darker, like the tint is darker than you think. Um, it may be just my imagination, but it's something that I noticed. Okay, let's get a mirror. I'm gonna start with hope. First thing that I've noticed is that it's a little streaky, like the color is not super opaque. But the second you kind of rub your lips, it um, disperses the product better, so you don't have that issue. This is Hope. It's much pinker than I expected. I, ex I, I was expecting this to be maybe a baby pink. There was another color that maybe that's the one I should have gotten that was 
just lighter. I think it's was it called happy i'm pretty sure it was called happy yes happy that is described to be a cool pink this is described as a nude mauve i'm not sure if i'm making this up but it feels like a little bit tingly slightly plumping effect um cooling maybe it's nothing intense i didn't see anything in the description but yeah i thought i would mention that okay so this is the color Hope. I'm going to wipe it off to see how it stains. Wow. Okay. Now I do think because of that, you will need to make sure you apply it evenly. That way the stain won't be uneven, but dang, that really stained. I was not expecting that. I was expecting that from a deeper color, but not, not this. This is a nice surprise for me because I do actually like stains. Not all of them, but I like just my lips to look like they have color. Dang, it's not coming off. <laughs> Concealer it is. Let's try to mute this with <laughs> some foundation. Done. Okay, moving on. Joy. Let's see how this will look. Now I feel like I have to be careful how I put it on because it will stain my lips. So this is the color Joy and I like it, but it's still deeper than I expected when I first, you know, swatched it. I thought maybe it would be a little bit more this color rather than it's almost turning a little pink on my lips. Um, it still has that corally vibe but i was maybe expecting it to be just a little bit more orange but it's still beautiful all right let's take this off and see what we're left with we are left with a really intense stain i do like this though i think it's really fun and summery okay moving on let's try to cancel this i bet if i had like straight up oil it would you know go away faster or rather just you know the makeup remover. Moving on, we are gonna do Honesty next. So this is the color Honesty and I actually like this one the most so far because it has a little bit more muted brown undertone. It's not super bright. It's not that corally or pink color. It's, it's just a little bit more brown. Still bright though. This is no nude. So let's wipe this off. This is straight up a lip stain. These are not just like a lip oil that has some tint in it. No, this will stain your lips. And I mean, I'm excited because we don't see this often enough, but don't be fooled. These are not something easy that you could just put on because if you mess up, it will, it will stay there. I'm sure the better way to test these out would have been to go get an oil and wipe everything off, but we're doing this. We're doing this the wrong way. Okay, doing the delight. I'm pretty sure, yes. And surprisingly, this to me, I don't know, it doesn't look quite as intense as the bottle. This is the color Delight and it is described as a rose brown. I kind of think this is my favorite color out of all of them. I think it's a beautiful, yeah. And I, I, I just love the undertone. I think it's stunning. Let's remove it and see. And we're left with a nice bright red orangey lip. These do not move. They're not going anywhere. There's like not a dot of transfer. Well, this is different. I did not expect this and I was just expecting these to be a lip oil that has a slight tint to it. These are straight up lip stains. I mean, this reminds me of the Fenty. 
I mean, the formula reminds me so much of that. Let me grab those. Here are the Fenty Beauty, like, pout sickles. I love these. And I'm telling you, yeah. Okay, so the formula of the Fenty are just a little bit more liquid. The ones from Rare Beauty are more gel-ish. Yeah, and, and it's just a little bit thicker. I'm going to touch them and see. Yeah, the Fenty seems to be um, more gel-like. They still feel thin. They don't feel sticky. The Fenty ones feel a little bit sticky, but those dry down. Um, so, yeah, they're. I think they have similar effect on the lips. But, yeah, the, the lip oils from Rare Beauty are not sticky whatsoever. I'm going to try to put a little bit of honesty on top of this. To see, oh my gosh, that looks terrible. It'll blend in, it'll be fine. I just wanted a little bit of a gloss. Okay, that was interesting. What are my thoughts? Let's start with the blushes. I love them, love them so much. These will not budge, these will stay on all day. Um, you guys already know the formula of the blushes. I, I love the colors so, so much. The lip oils, it's just a surprise. I was not expecting this, like I mentioned before, or every time I applied it, I'm like, what is this? Um, so I like these. I like the way they feel. I like the way they look on the lips. I think the one thing that I don't like about these is that the stain that remains looks kind of similar between shades. So if I have, let's say, the color Delight and Honesty, the stain after these, you know, are either wiped away or they just wear throughout the day, the shine's gone, they kind of look similar. So you're not really getting the money's worth if you get multiple colors that are similar. Now, obviously, the color Hope is going to leave a different stain than the color Delight. But if the colors are similar, just the undertone's a little different, I really don't think it's worth it. And I kind of wish... You know, there was a bigger difference in the colors and the stains uh, after the gloss is gone. But that's just a negative if you're trying to pick different colors, if you're looking for one good stain. I mean, this is amazing and I know it wore throughout the day because I wore it for half a day and it was still on. I had, like had to rub my lips before the video for this to go away. So I think that's a great thing. I just don't think it's marketed well like it's marketed as a lip oil and it is but you need to know that these will stay in your lips for a long time they will stay in your hands um and i like that so if you're interested in that these are wonderful if you're not these are not for you also there's a little tingling i know there is it's not just my lips there has to be um and the taste tastes a little bit minty a little bit fake chemically but very little is not enough where it bothers me okay now my lip it, lip is tingling also the back of my throat kind of feels that minty tingly sensation it's just there i don't like that yeah maybe i shouldn't have licked my lips but i do love the effect i love that they're not streaky like the tint is not streaky make sure you apply it nice and even and then um you'll have a nice even tint with lip tints i keep saying tint stain with lip stains like these um sometimes they get patchy and streaky and like not even but these so far I can tell that um they actually look quite even and the color stays put I'm so curious to see what you guys think of these have you tried them have you picked them up I kind of feel a little tricked like I was expecting something else but I'm not mad about it I I love a lip stain so that's everything for today I would love to hear your thoughts down below and I'll see you in my next video bye